Hey, this is Adam here with The Solar Truth. I've always been a big advocate of quiet cool fans. They save a lot of money uh, because you don't have to use your air conditioner as much. So uh, it says on the box here, save up to 50 to 90% of AC usage. And that's could be true, but it's very optimistic. And it's, it's uh, since they're manual, 99% of them, that would be, uh, you know, you come home every day when, uh, you know, you feel like it's cooler outside, you crack a window open, turn it on, and, uh, and, and use it uh, till it cools down and then you don't need to use your air conditioner and you're doing that like every day then maybe 90% that's still you know 50% maybe of your electric bill so it's gonna sit but it's gonna save you yeah, a decent amount um, and you could do like less solar for example or you could use more energy on other stuff where you need it like electric cars or uh, um, uh, uh, having your air conditioner on more uh, uh, turning your temperature down actually um, so basically the way it works is uh, you're putting a vent um, in your roof, and I'll show that in a second here, and um, uh, then you crack a window open on the other, kind of far away, on the other side of the house or downstairs, and it sucks that cool air in from outside, cools your whole house, and then vents your whole attic and cools it. Because the problem is, if you pay attention, which you might now and be frustrated about it, is even if it's 60 degrees outside, and, and your house is, uh, you know, 75, your air conditioner might be turning on all night because your attic got really hot during the day and is 120 degrees, you know, and is just baking your house uh, all night, um, you know, and your air conditioner is fighting it. So that's what quiet cool fans are really doing. They're helping avoid that problem. So, but I, I uh, was going to invent an automatic system with like timers, kind of like pool solar, where you have an outdoor sensor, indoor sensor, and I ended up uh, finding one. Um, and I installed it. So that's what I'm going to show you, a fully automatic quiet cool fan that I don't have to do anything. It works on its own the most efficiently as possible, so it will be that 90%. Otherwise, you're going to reduce your savings by about 50 to 80% with your quiet cool fan because you're not using it all the time, you know? And it's just a pain. It, it's, you know, kind of a, a nuisance. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, manual is fine. It works. But automation you know, just will save you more money and is, is just a, a, a problem free or um, it's just super easy, you know, no worries. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that, uh, how I installed this. My house was probably one of the most difficult installations uh, imaginable and I'll kind of show you why. So first, um, this location here, um, like my house in particular, my attic space is only above like the master bedroom here and then this little hallway area. Otherwise, it's just all vaulted ceilings. Um, so this, this is really the only area that I had to put the intake for the quiet cool fan. So um, I ended up being able to fit it here, which was really the only option. And I actually put the temp sensor right there for the indoor temp sensor, which is, uh, it should go on a wall, but the ceiling, you know, it's very similar temperature, you know, it's, it's uh, uh, not too much different. Um, so it, it should, it works there and there was really no other way to do it in this case. Uh, my thermostat is right there. You know, sometimes you can follow this chase down the wall and because you do have to wire that um, uh, indoor thermostat and um, you could put it next to that or something, but um, that would be like the, the primary location. But if you can't do that, then this works. So I have a really small attic and that's pretty much it there. Um, so there's a quite cool fan. Um, the only place that I could really install it was this little space here uh, that um, is only a couple feet, like two by one foot. <laughs> and um, this this actually isn't a big enough quiet cool fan for my house. So I'm also kind of doing an experiment. Like what if you have a smaller size, you know, can you just run it more? But it's this is literally the only spot in the attic that uh, was possible. So let's... Uh, Jump up here. Okay, so the fan itself um, is kind of strapped. It's it's a little bit off the heater, but if I do have to work on my th my thermos here um, or my furnace, then uh, I'll have to move the quiet cool fan, which it's just strapped on there. It's pretty easy to move. So yeah, I just uh, plugged the quiet cool fan into my outlet there. Uh, you could hardwire it too. It's maybe a little better, but it doesn't matter really in my installation because I have a, a, a app uh, to turn it on and off versus having to put like a, putting a switch. Um, okay, so uh, basically what I installed was a, um, 
a little unit here with a telephone cable uh, that that will uh, connect to my internet and control it with an app. So that's one of the um, installation parts there. And then that wire comes over here uh, to a little module that actually has an attic temperature sensor. Uh, so it senses the temperature of my attic and it has two other temperature sensors. One is the indoor temperature sensor, which goes right down into my ceiling there. Um, uh, you know, really no other place to put that. Like I can't even get anywhere else in this attic. It, it's just ridiculous. So the outdoor temp sensor was a lot more difficult to install. So you can see the wire is, is, uh, is there. Um, and I actually first drilled this hole right there. And I was like, okay, I'll just uh, put it out um, outside right there. And, and then I went outside and there's no eave um, uh, covering it because it's not waterproof really. It's supposed to be mounted under an eave in the shade. So there's no rain uh, or sun uh, hitting it. And um, I, uh, there's an eave four feet over, like right over there, the, the eave starts to cover it. So I measured it was four feet over and one foot down. So I ended up uh, having to crawl through here with a drill and you can see it's uh, right back there. Um, so nails were cutting my back as uh, fiberglass is cutting everywhere else and I'm sweating profusely. So it was not, not super fun doing that. Really hard to reach through there laying down without falling through my attic as well because there wasn't really anything to stand on uh, or to lay on. Um, <laughs> so so it was some acro yoga had to be involved there. But um, got, got that installed and um, then uh, it's just a Wi-Fi co connection. Um, so, uh, you know, you connect it to your home Wi-Fi with this module as well. <laughs> and then you have the app. So let's uh, show you the operation. So my QuietCool fan control here, um, my QuietCool is on right now on high speed. So, you know, I could just have it on low speed if I want. Uh, it's in the morning, so it wouldn't naturally be on right now. So I had to lower my temperature down to 70. I have it set for like 75, 76. You want to set it like a couple degrees less than your air conditioning. Um, and I like, I, I'm fine with 78. So, <laughs> uh, and I, I don't like it too cool, but um, like 75 is good. Um, so now it just turned off, um, you know, and you just heard it on low speed. Uh, so um, yeah, you got the, your, your uh, two speed operation, which uh, I guess you could change that, but mine, I think default did that. And um uh, a safety timer will shut it off after eight hours and, and so it shuts off in the morning when you're not home anyway but you don't have to have that on if you don't want um, and then uh, temperature controlled or timer controlled so you could also do timer controlled and then it has you less options and you just have a certain amount of timer and you just have it on or off you know but temperature controlled is kind of the whole point of uh, well, what I did here and uh, that's what I would leave it at. And you might have just heard it turn on again when I hit the timer control. So fully automatic, it's uh, pretty awesome. Okay, this is where my outdoor attic temp sensor is. Um, you can see, uh, you know, up there, let's go up here a little bit. It's under the eave now. Right over there. So at first that other hole is right there, but that um that little white uh, uh module there is the outdoor temp sensor nice and protected under the eave out of the elements and uh you know you could see in my attic that was in the very corner so uh you know getting it maybe a little more under the eave would be good uh but there's not many options there um that was about as far as i could reach uh so so one thing that's kind of crazy this is my front door is uh when I came home, I like, I don't know if you noticed that, <laughs> but if I, if I open my door, it comes open automatically. Like, let me show you that again with my hand there. It just shoots open. So there's a lot of air coming through there right now. That's how powerful the negative pressure is uh, and how much air you're actually sucking into your house. Now I happen to have a doggy door um, so I was gonna get like a shutter thing that mounted in the bottom of a window, but I was like, you know what? I bet my doggy door will let that cool, that cool air in. And if you can see right now, um, it, it sucks that flap in and it's moving a lot of airflow in there, you know, so the air is just pouring in through that doggy door. So that works great. Um, you know, I don't have to do anything fully automatic and um, 
it just lets the cool air in once the outdoor temperature is cooler than the the inside um, and then cools the attic down too all right i just manually turned my fan on so you can see the air just pouring through the doggy door here you know quite a bit of quite a bit of airflow coming in there so my bedroom is on the other side of the hallway and it doesn't really get a lot of airflow so my quiet cool fan is on automatically pretty much every evening and the uh, uh the nice thing is now when it's on if if my bedroom like feels like i want some more airflow in there i can just crack a window open a little bit and the air just pours through inside i mean let's see here you know it's just pouring through there and you want to uh um uh create um a venturi kind of so you don't want to open your window all the way you want to just have small opening like that doggy door is perfect because it has a restriction on it uh, or just cracking a window open a little bit because when you have a smaller space it creates a venturi and it, and it creates a lot more air movement because it's more like a jet you know so you have a lot more air movement just moving all the air in the house because that's what you want to do you want to get all that air in the house from the out in from the outside into the house circulating around and then out into the attic and venting out the attic to cool the whole house and the whole attic and not have your attic fighting like my air conditioner never comes on at night anymore like it's just the quiet cool fan using very very low energy thanks for watching this on the solar truth uh let me know and i can help you uh, uh get your quiet cool to be um automatic as well uh and any you know solar or other cost saving home advice uh um, or battery backup and check us out next time on the solar truth thanks